high crocheters of the world. In this tutorial I want to show you how to crochet this granny square that is not actually a granny square but as you can see it's a little bit different but just a little bit and it looks so beautiful. I don't know you but I'm really in love with this square. It's so so nice and there is another very positive let's say aspect that we can use lots of leftovers of yarn and this is really really uh, from my point of view a nice uh, aspect. Now uh, I am working here, I hope so I will finish it. <laughs> uh, I am trying to work a uh, mm, tablecloth, it's not tablecloth, it's uh, something to put on like a... Mm, more like a runner okay on my table and i will change color i will put uh, some other so um, leftovers that i have actually and of course when i finish it hope so soon i will show you i will put some photos on uh, my facebook page just uh, for you to see how it looks but now let's get started so it's reversible as you can see Let's get started. So I have here these two colors and I'm just ready to work with them just to show you how to work it. Now let us begin. Uh, we will begin with the um, light color. So we have, we, we must have two contrasting colors and I will begin with the light color, the light blue. And of course you can work it with any kind of yarn and crochet hook. Now uh, size. Now uh, chain four and insert the hook into the first chain, slip stitch to join for the first a little circle here, just keep the finger here on it or just make the magic loop. Now work chain three and this is the first double crochet and two more into the circle. And now we will begin actually exactly so we will work exactly the same thing as we work for the granny square but we will just in between the granny square rounds yes in between the granny square rounds we will put some mm, we will put this rounds this okay but you will see so now i will just work uh, three double crochet chain three for four times I almost finished my first round but I haven't slip stitched yet because I want to change color so for the second round so I will just insert the hook into the third chain of the beginning chain three but I don't want to slip stitch because I will slip stitch with the other color so fold it like this put it on the hook keep the yarn here in tension and pull through both loops. Now we just join the new color and for the second row of the pattern actually we will work like this. Now chain one and here into the chain three so actually on the right side of the group of three double crochet insert the hook like this and work a single crochet. Okay. Now to skip the group of three double crochets we work a chain three. Into the corner, so into the chain three corner we work one single crochet, chain three and one more single crochet and then again we will repeat this. So chain three to skip the group of three double crochets into the corner work one single crochet, chain three and one more single crochet and we just continue on like this chain three to skip the group of uh, double crochets and single crochet chain three single crochet into the chain three space again chain three to skip the group of double crochets and now we will just we are at the end so we will just uh, single crochet chain three and slip stitch into the single crochet that we already worked at the beginning of the round. We slip stitch, 
pull up a longer loop and leave it there. Now, take again the other color and we will work into the chain 3 now. So, which means just I, I'm just preparing myself so pull the yarn like this and chain and now chain three one two and three and around the double the sorry and around the chain three work two more double crochets for the first group of three now we just keep into the corner which is here we have the single crochet, chain 3 and single crochet and into the corner we just work a normal corner as for the granny square. So only that we will work it into the second round which is the um, dark blue round with the chain 3 and single crochet. So we work a group of three double crochets, chain three and into the same chain three sp space we will work one more group of three double crochets one, two and three. Now we skip into the next chain three space and we work another group of double crochet, uh, three double crochets and we just continue on like this into the corner we work a normal corner into the chain 3 space on the side we just work a uh, group of 3 double crochets. As you can see on the side we don't chain, we don't space, uh, work any space in between the groups of double crochets. We just keep into each of our chain 3 space and work a double crochet, a 3 double crochet group of double, yes, <laughs> a 3 uh, double crochet group. Okay, continue on like this until the end of this row. Round. So now to finish the round I just want to insert my hook so I worked all the round as you can see it's a normally round a normal granny square round only that we work it into the chain 3 not into actually the spaces so it's like this. Now what we want to do is to insert the hook into the third chain and slip stitch to join. Pull a longer loop and leave it there. Now we have to take again the contrasting color and we just want to chain two. So now we are at the same level and we can begin in between these two, uh, the last and the first group of double crochets, insert the hook bring the loop on the hook, two loops on the hook, yarn over single crochet, chain three and continue on with your single crochets in between the groups of three double crochets like this, chain three to skip the other group of double crochets and now into the corner, chain three space of the corner we work one single crochet, chain three and one more single crochet. This is how we have to continue on. I finished the row round with the contrasting color by slip stitching into the first single crochet made and now I just want to show you some variations. Now uh, we will begin here into the second double crochet of the group and we will work this into the same color. Okay, so insert the hook, fold the contrasting color, the chain 3 and we don't want to work in it. Insert the hook into the second second double crochet and slip stitch into it. Now here we want to begin our round. Chain 3 and two more double crochets. One and two. Now skip into the second double crochet, fold like this the chain 3, skip into the second double crochet and work three double crochets. And we just continue on like this. So we will have our chain 3 spaces, our actually um, line here, contrasting line, we will have it visible. Now, into the corner we will want to work actually into the chain 3 with the same color. Okay, so 
with the light color and we will work exactly the corner as normally so three double crochets a chain three and three more double crochets one two and three and we continue on like this now we fold again here insert the hook into the second of the three double crochets and work your group of three double crochets into it we just continue on in this manner like this so I almost finished the round now I just want to slip stitch but first of all I just put the contrasting color on the back side and now I'm ready to slip stitch to join like this okay and now just continue on as for the normal pattern we already worked the variation it's this one as you can see we have all the chains all the stitches of the contrasting color on the uh, right side and almost nothing on the wrong side so this is the variation and now we just want to continue on with the normal pattern so from time to time you can work it like this and it looks really nice so chain two insert the hook in between the two groups the first and the last group of three double crochets yarn over pull through two and this is the first single crochet and we continue on now if you want to change color the color of the double crochets let's say like this uh, you just slip stitch you just uh, chain and cut the yarn and then you just insert the hook when you have to work again with the same color um, the same round you just insert the hook into the third chain join the new color and continue on but uh, and if you want to change color of the contrasting color you can do it exactly the same thing so you just cut the yarn and then when uh, it comes to work with uh, it you single crochet in between the last and the the beginning and the, the, fin the yes the last and the first uh, round uh, double crochet group so it's pretty easy it was more difficult for me to um, explain it now let me work some uh, these two rounds so two more rounds one round with the contrasting color one round with the the double crochet groups and uh, I will be back to show you another variation so that would be all so I worked the granny round let's say like this or the double crochet round and now I want to work the second version for the contrasting color round with single crochet chain three so the two rows rounds sorry and this one is worked so this one and this one is uh, are worked as the basic pattern so single crochet chain three single crochet in between the three double crochets groups of three double crochet in and chain three now this one was the first version and as you can see all the design it's on the front side on the right side and on the back side we have only a little thing so the single crochets actually and the rest is here and now I want to show you a second version and then you will be able to choose the one that you like more or you can combine them as I did here in this swatch now I finished the round and I have to switch to this color so I chain two as normal and now instead of working here in between the two double crochets groups I will insert the hook into the single crochet pull up a longer loop and yarn over and single crochet and chain three skip the double the double crochet group of three insert the hook again so instead of working the single crochet in between the groups of three double crochets we are working them into the single crochet but we work 
long single crochet like this and we kind of close in windows I named them windows the groups of three double crochets as you can see and I think it's a nice effect too so now again pull up a longer loop and just single crochet now for the corner we just work it as normally so chain three skip into the chain three space chain three space of the corner and single crochet chain three single crochet so the corner remains exactly the same and now we continue on like this chain three insert the hook into the single crochet worked with the same color and single crochet long single crochet into it like this so this is another nice effect that we have for our stitch so as you can see from a granny square how many because it's actually a granny square as you can see only that we work this second round with a contrasting color how many uh, beautiful effect effects actually we we can create so as you can see it really comes out beautiful thing and you can work in these three versions so to obtain really nice now uh, for the border i just want to add one more thing for the border you will work the last row uh, the last row with the contrasting color and into the chain three space with the same color so you will cut this you will remember the same is the hook and work two single crochets into the third single crochet work a chain three pico and two more single crochets and this is what you will work in each chain three space like this and now into the next two single crochets one single crochet with pico and two more single crochets one and two and we will continue on like this and we will obtain a very easy and nice one two and this is the third easy and nice border of course you can work any kind of border you like this is only my idea for a blanket or for a runner on the table i think it's just perfect and you will work exactly the same thing into each of your chain three even in this one into the corner Okay, so three single crochets, the third one with the pico and two more. So there are five actually, total of five and into the chain three space as I said exactly the same. So two single crochets plus one more with the chain three space and two more. And we go on on the other side so this is what we will have really really nice it's something I don't know so easy and so nice from my point of view okay so don't forget to subscribe if you like my tutorials so you won't miss any and uh, don't forget to thumb up for my videos if you like them see you at the next tutorial bye bye